Welcome to Morecambe, where you can get an all-day breakfast until ooh, shortly after lunch. Born as a genteel Edwardian town, it boomed big before the Second World War as a working-class resort. After the war, package holidays arrived and the tide went out, leaving a massive stock of large boarding houses. By the 80s, it was once again a magnet for the urban poor and was uh, DSS bedsit land. This is West End Methodist Church, 1897, by Samuel Wright, mentioned in Pevsner, now heavily criticised by contemporary iconoclasts. Prep works along the prom, part of the latest regeneration plan for Morecambe. Uh, and this is what Morecambe's a gateway to, the Irish Sea. Morecambe Bay's 52 square miles of gently sloping radioactive mudplain. It's where 23 Chinese cocklers died in 2004. You get uh, horizontal rain lashing in from here across the town, that's why most of Morecambe is indoors. Here's a glitch in the uh, space-time continuum, modern repro retro signage but rusting badly already so looking very old. the now defunct Polo Tower. Left blank for your message. Here's a, a contextual arcade recalling the glory days of uh, Edwardian architecture. But already some green shoots rising from the gloop Uh, this used to be the old railway station uh, disgorging its posh passengers across the road to the fantastic uh, Midland Hotel, Oliver Hill, 1933, sleek Art Deco modernism. Uh, it's the hinge on which the regeneration of the prom now turns, Urban Splash giving it a £7 million seeing to. Uh, it's expected to reopen next year. Uh, just five years ago, incredibly, in August 2002, local councillors announced that demolition was a preferred option. Local councillors are idiots. None of them has a neck. And uh, this is what's next to the Midland, uh, a ghostly little reminder of previous regeneration. Uh, there are three economies in Morecambe and we're now moving from the south end, cheap smack, into central Morecambe, binge drinking. At the quieter northern end, it's ornithology. It's a very melancholy looking shooting gallery. There's even, you can see in the distance there, there's even a Morecambe Eye now. Look, it's... Uh, not Mark's Barfield, is it? No. Uh, this is part of a surreally deserted funfair. Well, those are public conveniences, obviously, next to the funfair. Here's the funfair. You could be in second life, couldn't you? As you can see, the ancient shape of Morecambe yeah, is still there. It's now zhuzhed up with... Uh, effete doodlings and railing work. This is landscaping as an expression of municipal Stalinism. Look, we could almost be in Havana. Some of the um, heftier department stores have survived uh, along the prom, and while this arcade has uh, transformed itself. It's transformed itself into a market, can you see, thanks to a giant red felt tip pen. Come on in. There's another hefty survivor. Some of the stores look like they've been worn down by the hands of giants. On the left here, the Winter Gardens, Morecambe's other Grade Two star listed building. On the right, Pleasureland. Spot the join. Uh, a trust now owns this, so fingers crossed, built in the late 1890s. 
there was a robust god in the details then, as you can see. Though he seems uh, a little vaguer these days. You could get a tram down there. Look, never mind a shop mobility scooter. We could almost we could almost be in Hay on Y, couldn't we? It's uh, it's mid afternoon now, so as you can see, everyone's thinking the same thing. Is it too early for a drink? Billy Bargains. And ah, uh, the beckoning darkness away from the weather. Into the uh, demi monde uh, of an amusement parlour. Some of the look, some of the uh, machines look like art installations. We're going to say, look, that looks like Dan Flavin. Um, and if this one coming up, if this one coming up was twenty feet high and by Gilbert and George and in the Tate Modern, we'd love it. It's a poor old relic from a more innocent age, and uh, you kind of feeling that the knacker's yard can't be far away. Everything in here is tattooed. The hardware, the software. This ought to be on a cleavage or a bicep. The end. Actually, it is time for a drink. 